So today uh, we are working on the 83 Camaro. Uh, we're swapping out this uh, one leg, one leg rear end uh, for the Posi. Uh, getting rid of the drum brakes, uh, putting disc brakes, and obviously getting rid of that one legger. Uh, probably also going to be taking some suspension parts off of his original 83 car over on the other side of the barn. Uh, this got the Berlin Etta stuff on it. It's real floaty. Meant for a good ride, not a, not meant for really a sports car, and uh, he wants to swap all the Z28 stuff over. Got most of the suspension stuff uh, disconnected, like the rear shocks. Uh, Got to get a few brake lines, and then we can uh, pull the bolts for the lower control arms, and this thing should drop right out of there. out of there um pretty simple uh they make these uh third gens pretty easy to work on so uh, ready to put the new one in out uh gonna be swapping out these uh old rusty shocks and these springs uh with some beefier ones and uh these lower control arms are coming off and uh we're gonna be replacing it with the ones off of the z28 and uh, then we're putting that bad boy in it. So the rear end gear is a 277, which uh, isn't great, but I mean, what, we can't can't have everything, I guess. I mean, it came out of that 86 Firebird. We were hoping, uh, we knew it was a polish track because it had tag on it, had the limited slip tag on it, but we never dug into what uh, rear end ratio it was, so. Last night we finally uh, scraped off the rust that was all over it and uh, looked up the number, 
277 so rear end is sitting up in the car uh put a tubular <clears throat> put a tubular uh paint hard bar on it off of uh, the car from over on the other side of the barn and i'll show you guys uh those are the shocks that we put on it we painted the springs uh these are uh the springs off of a z28 so it won't ride as bumpy as it did put some new uh sway bar uh bushings on it didn't even have this car originally didn't even have a sway bar on it when we took the rear end out of it it didn't have a sway bar on it so we put one on it because apparently these cars didn't come with that and then we got the lower control arm there uh, that we painted up uh, we found out that this gear it's a pause track rear end with a 277 uh, rear gear in it so it kind of not what we wanted but there it is everything is bolted in it's uh, sitting on the ground uh, got a little bit beefier uh, springs underneath it now it'll uh, ride a little stiffer feel more sporty but uh, it's ready to go for a drive About to take it out on its uh, first uh, rip with the pause track rear end. Uh, we upgraded the springs into it on it with the Z28s. Uh, it also has a tubular panhard bar, uh, better than stock uh, shocks underneath it. So it's going to ride a little stiffer, but feel more kind of like a race car. It'll take corners a little better than uh, that Berlinetta suspension would. But uh, looking real nice, looking like a Z28, and uh, about to go. See how it rips. for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed uh got still have some stuff to do with this car so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to uh, catch the next video